Good morning, guys. How's it going? Yeah. Do you know where I am right now? Oh, I found a mushroom here. I'm gonna show it to you guys later. But today, I drove my mom's car for the first time and took us to this place. And guess what? Oh, it's pretty bushy here. This is my grandpa's holiday house, or whatever you call it. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, by the way, I just woke up and I'm pretty sleepy. Anyways, today I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the house. Let's get started. Okay, welcome to my grandpa's holiday house in the beautiful mountains of Nikko, Tochigi. As we start the tour, here's a look at the parking area. This place is truly secluded. It's on a quiet mountain with very few neighbors around. It's about an 8 minute drive from the famous Nikko Toshogu Shrine, but it feels like a world away from the busy tourist spots. Mushroom! Is it poisonous? I don't know, but I bet. I feel like they're gonna break any time. It's a classic wooden structure built around 30 years ago. A bit weathered now, but still standing strong. We don't use it much anymore, but it holds so many memories. In the balcony! Like, there's literally trees as far as the eye can see. Now, let's step inside the house. Today is a cleanup day, so things are a bit scattered, but it gives you a good sense of the space we are working with. This kitchen used to be fully stocked with plates, cutlery, and all sorts of household items. But most of the cabinets and drawers are empty now. We've left them open to dry after a thorough cleaning since it smelled a bit moldy in here before we started tidying up. You can probably still catch a bit of that old house smell, but it's getting better. Let's take a look at the living areas. This is where we'd usually sit down for meals or just hang out and chat. There's also this big heater which becomes a lifesaver in the winter months, keeping the whole space nice and warm. And this table, it was built by my grandpa like a decade ago I think, and it's still looking beautiful. The sad thing is, we've only been visiting this place about once a year over the past few years, so the whole house has developed that classic old musty smell. It's definitely not the most inviting scent right now, and we don't feel comfortable eating anything here until we finish the deep cleaning. So like, we are really motivated to get the place fully cleaned up as soon as possible, so it feels fresh and welcoming again. Now let's check out the bedroom on the first floor. As you can see, this room has turned into a bit of a storage area. There are a bunch of plates, pots, and other kitchen items that we moved in here while cleaning. You'll also notice some bedding like blankets and mattresses stacked up. Our plan is to completely clear out this room. We'll probably end up getting rid of most of the stuff here and fully renovating it into a clean, comfortable bedroom. The ceiling, walls, floor, literally everything needs a fresh start. It's a big project, but we're excited to see how it transforms. Okay, the bathroom area, which includes the changing area, the toilet, and the bathroom. 
The toilet room is a bit on the smaller side, but I love the wooden walls in here. Probably pine, I think. You know, it gives the space a warm vibe that fits the house perfectly. Okay, in the changing room, you can change clothes, dry your hair, brush your teeth, and do all the essentials. There's also this washing machine, but we're planning to replace it with a drum style washer and dryer combo because it's so tough to dry clothes around here. And next, my favorite part has to be the views from the bathroom. It's super peaceful. The bathtub is an old fashioned stainless one. And while it's a bit outdated, it still has a certain charm. My mom's been cleaning up this area and it's looking so much better now. Okay, next, let's head up to the second floor. The stairs are right next to the living area and along the wall, you can see some of my grandpa's wood carvings. I'm always amazed at how talented he is. His work has a personal touch to the house. When you reach the top, you're welcome into a spacious room that feels like an open attic room. It's empty and clean for now, but the low ceiling means you have to watch your hand when you walk around. If you open the windows up here, you get another great view of the surrounding nature. We actually used to spot monkeys from this very room, but it's been a while since we've seen any. Hey guys! <laughs> we are planning to transform this room into a second bedroom, making it a cozy spot for future guests. As you can see, there's still a lot of work ahead of us, but we're so excited about the future. And you probably know from the title of this video, but in the long run, we're planning to convert this place into an Airbnb. So stay tuned for more updates as we transform this hidden retreat into a cozy getaway. And seriously, any advice or comments from you guys would be appreciated. Like for example, we're planning to place a TV and a sofa in the living areas, but we still don't know where to put them. Or like an advice like, oh, you should put plants in the house, or you should definitely change the yellow fridge to a new one. Something like that. Anything would be appreciated. Okay guys, that's a wrap for today's tour of my grandpa's holiday house. We have a lot more to share in the next video, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. See you guys later.